in the first installment of Shit Beach Toys, here we have the patent pending D6 Surf Skimmer with Gripper technology. As you can see, it's basically a skimboard with handlebars. Here in New Zealand, these came out last summer, I do believe, and my argument with them was what exactly do you do on them? Um, this is brand new, we'll unwrap it now. As you can see, it has all the specs and all the, the information you need on it. Um, we'll unwrap it now and we'll give it a whirl and see how it goes. That's basically it unwrapped. I don't know if we need to wax it, but we'll give it a whirl, we'll see what the boys think. We may even hit a rail on it. Let's get into it. Do a trick. Sweet man. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As you can see, we've already stre stretched the limits of D6 performance. <laughs> I've already hit my toe on there, on that bunny hop attempt. Mike's well already had his toe slip. <laughs> um, I'm really not sure what there's left to do. To be honest, we'll give it a whirl on the surf, seeing it is a surf skimmer, <laughs> and um, we'll test the capabilities out there. Let's go, dudes. <laughs> so here we go, dudes. Watch out for this sick barrel. See what happens all you safety conscious parents out there. What happens when you're riding this surf skimmer? In skimboarding you fall and you tend to fall a lot. With this, when your feet are, you're doing your sick maneuver. When you fall, this is here. This very hard piece of plastic, which you could fit all sorts of little kids' feet under there, I'd imagine. Um, it's dangerous and it's stupid. Give us a clean run. I think I just broke my toe. Okay, go for it. Watch this, this will be sick. <laughs> That's cold hard proof. That was on the first run on that lovely handlebar attachment. There you go. D6. But what are we, 10, 10 or so runs in? You can already see the finish is coming off. This is a common problem with shitty skimboards. Um, Mike's already hit his foot on here. I've already hit my toe. I hit my foot just then. Most fun, I think it's actually using it like a scooter and pushing yourself along. I can't work out what else to do. In all honesty, we could take this off and use it like a regular skimboard, but We've got those up there and prob ones at work. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of people were purchasing them. Mum and Dad were purchasing these for their kids because they were safer. Um, their thought with the handlebars was that it was going to make skimboarding safer for their kids, which, in fact, it's the complete opposite to that. It's more dangerous. We're competent skimmers. We'll throw a couple clips into the end of the set and show you what we usually do, but. What, we've already had we've hit our feet three times on this in what, like five minutes? So, it's not safe, it's bloody dangerous, and it continues on with the shit beach toys. There's only one good thing that I can see <laughs> this being used for. Whoa. 
Just about. Oh yeah, too far ahead. So, shwa. And here we are, sort of six and a half years later. I make a boards for all levels. 